Hey, this is Gene with Fruity Shoots. So this is a parachute that we just repaired with spinnaker tape and now the harness and bridle assembly is quite tangled so I'm going to do a video on how to untangle uh, the lines and the harness uh, for the parachute. So first thing I'm going to do is get the chute set with all the lines sorted and in the, uh, in the rigging jig. So what we do is that we find the label, we drop it into the left, uh, left slot, and then we, this chute has 12 gores, so we count six lines off on this side. So three, four, five, six. And then we're going to put only the center pole in the center, and then all the rest of these lines, they go on this side. So now the sheet's organized in left, center, right, and I'm going to close the, uh, I'm going to close the gate here, and use a clamp to lock it. And then, this gets stretched out where it's taut. In this case, we just use a chair to clip that too. Then stretched out until this is taut. And then we also, we look at the, the lines and we rotate this until the lines look like they're at least relatively straight. In which case, we're going to take this and roll this down. What we want to try to do is to get the harness left and right aligned with the parachute left and right for, for untangling. So, the parachute harness has two bundles on it that have spiral ties. And these bundles correspond to, on the parachute, what's going to be the left side and the right side. And right in here, obviously, is where we have a problem with the chute. How I do this is I, I spread the left and the right, and then I pull the bundles down. So in which case I kind of form... I use my fingers to, to hold this, and you can see, you know, that this is, is pretty badly tangled. And what we do is we look through for patterns where it's obvious that the harness needs to be rotated. Like we have one obvious group here where these lines are going through right here. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pull that through there like that. And when you do this, you don't have to be absolutely correct because every time you do one of these, it's going to get better. So the next one is that we have an area where we have the lines going through here. So what I'm going to do is take the harness and I'm going to go put it through there. And now we're getting real close. Now we're down to really just, this is just, this is like a one move puzzle. And it's going to go through here. And the question is, which way do I put it through this side or this side? But we have a rotation of the lines around this way. So I'm going to put it through on this side here. And I believe now we have it entangled. And um, if you want to show down to that end too, they're all straight. So that took, uh, what, three or four moves to do that. It's sort of a puzzle, like, you know, one of these puzzles with the, with the uh, squares on the side or the Rubik's Cube, you know. Um, each move gets you closer to, to having this. You don't have to have it. You, no one move is the exact right move. It's just each one participates in untangling more and more of this until finally you get it down so it's untangled. Um, flack the gores and fold the chute. So the first thing I do is that I have the harness here clipped on to a chair again and now the left and the right here are aligned to the parachute. So with the chute now, with all the lines taut, first thing we're going to do to flack it is we're going to go through and get all the gores pulled out and make sure nothing's folded inside. And I'm going to go through the far side first until I have them all there. I'm going to go back now. 
And I'm going to go back to the near side. So we're doing just getting everything organized so that it's all it's all uh, so that the gores are are pulled out. The seams are going to stay in the center. And finally, we want to keep doing this until we get to the one the gore with the label. Okay, so here's the label right here. So, so this is where we start. I pull each seam up with my fingers so that they're tight in the center. And then I can use one finger to hold it. Oh, there's another patch we need to do right there. So there's another one. So this is why this is good to do this right away. Yeah, so in the process of um, flacking this and folding the canopy, we found another spot that needs work. Not at all uncommon in this case. So I'm rounding off the patch. Corners rounded. This is a pretty small one here, so we don't need to do the back side. I'm going to lay this down on here. And there we go. So now we can continue. And possible we might hit some others. In most cases where a shoot's been dragged, it's the, the lower skirt is where we see most of the issues. So anyway, we go through and we do six, six gores on this side. And we keep going until we get to the one that's going to cross from the left side to the right side. Okay, one more. Okay, so I use my handy rigger weights here, and we should have six scores here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Now, I'm going to go ahead on the other side. Now, this side, we do the same thing, and also while we do it, we'll keep an eye out for any other fabric issues. Here's our patched gore. And then we get to the last one. So now the gores are flat meaning that we have all the seams in the center and all the panels are pulled to the outside. So the way we like to fold it is that, you notice it's a bit of a trapezoid here, or it's a, I forgot the right term, but anyway, it's not a rectangle, it's approximately a rectangle. So I fold in like this to make this side straight, then I do one more fold over, so we have a strip in this, so we have a nice, um, a nice uh, rectangle. We do the same thing here, and then we have again a nice rectangle. So this shape now is where a shoot ends up folded, where you can then do multiple things. You can take this and insert it directly into a deployment bag starting at this side and simply pushing it in. If you're going to do something else with it, depending on it, then you may want to fold it. Um, when you're actually going to use this for deployment, you want to Z-fold it, like this. However, for, for, for packing and shipping, usually we just take it and we just roll it over into equal sections like that. And then I put on my, my rigger weights, remove the gate. I'm going to unclip it now. I'm down here. Get it here on the table. And this is excellent for storage too. Instead of just balling your shoot up and wrapping the lines around it and then tangling up the harness, which I just showed how to untangle it, if you do this, it'll be much, much, much neater and it will not get tangled. So what I'm going to do is wrap this tape around here. One of the tricks we do is that 
we tape the tape backwards onto the table first, and then we can drop the lines on, wrap them around. And now we have the chute ready for, for storage. Um, and when you're going to go to get out to your launch or you need it, you simply unfold it like this. This is all ready to go. You don't need to do anything else to, to fold this. For this part here, it, it's, it's, it's ready to fly. So that's it. That's how you untangle it, flack the gores, fold it, tape the lines, ready for storage or ready uh, for flight.